Hello and welcome back to another installment of Pokey Fodder and First Things First. It is an absolutely gorgeous day here in Southern California today. So I'm doing this video outside. You're probably going to hear maybe the wind blowing into my microphone and I apologize. Maybe some background noise with people walking around, cars driving by, whatever have you. It's just, there is, it's just way too nice outside not to be soaking up the opportunity to be outside. And if that affects a little bit of the audio quality of today's video, that's just the price that I'm willing to pay for my happiness of being outside. Also, we have the, the room hall where the gym effects are in play. So it is the orbital hall. And it is confirmed, Psychic Types plus 20 on their white and gold attacks. And um, 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 we have, why doesn't it say, Poison Type gets plus 1 MP. There you go. It is confirmed. I imagine that this is going to start tomorrow for me. Maybe today for you, depending on when you see it. And maybe it has already started depending on where you live and when you watch this video. But I'm going to jump in. Actually, let me wait. I'm thinking here that if we view the figures available, and I don't want my electric figures, I'm going to go poison type here. If we look... These all get plus one MP, as long as they're not already three MP. So running Crobat, I don't necessarily think is really worth it because it's already three MP and there's no damage buff. But a little, where is he? Scratch this, scratch that completely. Why was I not able to find this little fellow right here. Poison. Didn't I look up Poison? Did I just miss him? I must have just missed him. But this little guy right here, Skoropi, is going to gain plus 1 MP to make it 3 MP. And this Irritating Sting ability, any Psychic type Pokemon that battles this will be confused. What this is going to be good for is if you don't have, like on my free-to-play account, Skoropi is a, a Pokemon that I'm really looking at as possibly running in my deck because A, I have limited number of Pokemon. B, I, I, I don't... Like, there's going to be Psychic types out there. And if you think Deoxys Attack Form, when confused, is going to slide over to mostly dodges. Deoxys Defense Form, when confused, is going to slide from the huge purple over to Miss. And Deoxys Speed goes from white over to Miss. I'm almost positive because I believe the dodge is on the left or right hand side. So he's going to be good against a good defense against Deoxys Forms. If you think of Mew, sliding over one is probably is going to go from the gold and to blue for dodge. Not really going to be great as an attacker anymore. And Mew is going to get a damage buff as well. And if you think Malmar, if you think uh, Leo, and I know it's not Leo, but um, Solar, Solar Leo, Solar Leo, when confused, they're both going to slide over to Miss. Skoropi could be a really good Pokemon for you to run if you don't have, it might be good to run period, but if you don't have all the meta Pokemon, Scropey could be a really nice budget Pokemon to use. Along those lines, Steel, any Steel Pokemon might be pretty decent to run with Steel Energy Plate because they are resistant to poison. If we're talking about steel, and we go look at this guy right here, he's psychic. 
So he's going to gain damage buff. Yes. So he's still 1 MP, but he does have this heavy slam where if the opponent is 3 MP or higher, they're going to be knocked out. It's going to do 120 damage. So that's actually really good. And it does have Confuse Ray. Again, we just talked about what Confusion does. And at level 4... Level 4. Oh, I need to go in and... We'll just do my disc expansion right now. I would say... Man, this is a tough one. Definitely not blue. I would almost say that... What is that? 20, 32, 20. I'm going to go ahead and say that... Because you want this on your goal... Maybe Confuse is best. There. So Bronzog could be a decent Pokemon to run. You'd probably want to run a goal block. But the Steel Energy is going to protect it. So those are my couple of budget type Pokemon. That could be worthwhile to run in the gym if you don't have other better options. Personally for me... And I've already won my three. It says I have 80 points. Did I play four games? I thought that I only played three, but maybe I didn't. Here's what I'm running. And as typical with my gym decks, this was a creation of Lionheart. Something that he put together that I'm stealing. And he's pretty good. And he's, he's, he came up with the last gym deck, which also included Seismitoad and Triple Gengar. Oh, here we go. We're going to go up against a Dio deck, which is nice. Because what I was actually going to do, and I completely forgot, is I was going to play a game against a Dio user. And I forgot to contact them and wait for them to reply to me. So here we go. Let's see how this fares. I have Max Drive, Gold Block. Phantom Energy, and then the Gengar Plate. Now, Phantom Energy is going to allow me to A, bring my Gengar on the field when the opponent has a status against them. That's a good thing. It is also going to allow me to banish Deoxys Pokemon. If there's more than three on the field, and it looks like there's probably going to be more than three on the field at most times. And I am super tempted. I'm just going to drop my Phantom Energy right away. And then I have Steel Energy to protect Solgaleo from getting poisoned. I'm not sure about Solgaleo in this deck. He could be replaceable. And I do have, if you'll notice, I do have Mega Gengar set up on all of my Gengars. Because you just never really know which... He does have Long Throw. Okay. Because you never know which Gengar you're going to need to trigger the Mega Evolution. And since he does have all of his Long Throw plate, all of his Pokemon off his bench... Of course, he could scoop up and then long throw. Oh, that was really dumb. And here I am chit-chatting, not even paying attention. I guess I can go up here and try to see if I can't just knock him out. <laughs> I was only thinking about the long throw. I wasn't even paying attention to the fact that Coco could get over there. So we're going to go here. Now, I am going to be careful because he could easily max revive and then long throw if I were to take over one of his entry points. Definitely don't want to do that. And I'm just going to leave that be. And I'm going to attack and let him switch out. To whomever he wants. It doesn't really matter to me if he wants to go Deoxys Defense. It doesn't matter. The point is, is I want to poison him. God, that would have been great to land an attack there on his miss. 
Let's see, scoop up, long throw, hurdle jump. Well, that's fine. Not worried about that at all. I got what I wanted done out of that situation. I wouldn't be surprised if he moves his defense formal. No, he didn't. Okay. And I kind of feel like I'm just going to go. He can't switch out with me. Dimensional slip. Okay. There's nothing he that he can make me re-roll that will counter the dimensional slip. So we're good there. But he also can't slip. Let's see. I'm actually trying to get him knocked out. <laughs> that didn't do it. I really wanted to roll my 50 there. Okay. I mean, my 100. No, I... I... Oh. Oh, because he got the buff. 120. That is the one I wanted to roll. There. And now he has already expired his... I'm going to slide up here. He may bring Coco down here, which is fine. We have easy ways to put an end to that. He'll probably drop his Deoxys attack form down here. Again, I'm okay with that as well. That's even better because now he has no real power on the board. Guess he's trying to cycle out his Pokemon. And I'm going to go up here and poison somebody. Don't even care who. Okay. And I definitely think he's trying to cycle out his, his speed forms at this point. Because now they're doing like minimal, they're doing normal damage again. But if I were him, I would be trying to cycle them out. Not overly concerned with that. Definitely going to leave this toad over here. Because I can max revive my Gengar. And bring him out and just sw swap over him. And he does have long throw, so I have to keep that in mind. Um, don't really. I guess we'll go over here. He may just switch back over to that poisoned. Another Pokemon that could be really useful in this gym is the pre-evolution, and that's what he did. He just wanted the one poisoned. Oh my gosh. Okay. Is the pre-evolution of Sogaleo a Cosmoam? Because that's going to be basically a break energy for Deoxys. Because it negates the effects of energy plates. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me with that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why? I thought Tapu Koko... I completely misplayed this because I thought... Am I, did I miss something? I could have sworn that Tapu Koko was poisoned. Did I miss, I must have missed something. I, I could have sworn. I'm going to have to rewatch the video because I legit don't know at this point what just happened there. I know what just happened there. That is so weird. I, I I am legitimately perplexed at the moment. Hmm. 
Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to trigger Mega Gengar here. The reason being is because if I get knocked out, I take him to my PC with me. There's no need to even attack. And he can't leave. So he's stuck there, which is going to allow me to move my Pokemon up. And we'll go there. So it's three, two. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the entire surround done, but. We'll go there. He will probably attack my Gengar or Hurdle Jump. It's always an option. Okay. And now he's going to bring over. I'm not sure who he brings over here. He may just leave. Okay. Okay. So now he's going to come down here. Well, he didn't. Very interesting. I'm actually going to try to suicide here. No, 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 no. We wanted the 120. That was a bad roll for us. It is going to burn, which brings his 150 down to 140, but we that was really not a good an advantageous roll for us because we can't beat 140. He dodge. Eh. I'm going to say that this was pretty poorly played on my part. I should have done that instead of attacking. That was really, really, really poorly played at the end there. Instead of attacking with Solo Leo, I wasn't thinking. I should have done that, banished his Pokemon, and then worried about Deoxys' attack, because Deoxys wasn't threatening anything. So there you go. Um, should have won that one. And Deoxys really isn't scary. That was, like I said, just really misplayed on my part. But people have asked me, am I worried about Deoxys? And I'm really not in this gym because I'm running Phantom Energy. And if you're running Deoxys, you're running at least three. Should be really easy to banish. I wasn't, I had a mental lapse there, but that's my recommendation for the gym. I hope maybe if, if you don't have Mega Gengars and Gengars and everything, you know, Sableyes will work, Shuppet would even work. There's a lot of different Pokemon that you can use to overcome the, the, the gym. As always, Vibravas are good because they slow down Rush. So there you go. I hope you, I hope you got some useful information there. And hopefully the gym starts tomorrow. And until next time.